Somebody in Australia wanted attention and the media gave it to them and they should be ashamed of themselves and apologize. Number one. Number two, the uncropped version of most of the images show you that the images were made before the airplane took off. Malaysian Airlines did not take off in 2009. Well, I found an aircraft shape. Yeah, but it says right there in the lower left-hand corner, and also imagery date, that it's 2009. June 11th. Would you mind explaining why the hell all of the media did this? There are, there are videos on YouTube with 20,000 views in, in a couple of days about somebody who ignored on purpose the time and date stamp on an image. What about the location? I only found two copies of any of the images that were not cropped that actually showed it there. And it included it as degrees, minutes, and seconds, which no one uses anymore. We don't use sextants anymore. Now, I don't care if you're, if you're on a ship or an airplane. The majority of people on this planet do not use degrees, minutes, and seconds. We use decimal degrees. Stop it. I will include links below in the description with degrees, minutes, and seconds. Because that's what you're supposed to do. Anyway, the upper left-hand corner shows the person sliding the slider bar and then screenshotting it before it actually showed April 19th, 2014, which doesn't show this. They were being deceptive on purpose. And they didn't show the scale bar so you can see how big the object is. Here you go. That's about 100 feet across. And I show you the time scale bar without altering it during the screenshot. And it actually matches. Links below in the description. Yes, I did it just the way they did, so you can compare them. It's close enough. It's the same image. Let's do this again. No, it's not an airplane. It's not Malaysian airplane, because that's 2009 on the bar on the upper left that someone went out of their way to close and then hope that you wouldn't notice the 2009 in the lower left-hand corner. Again, why did the media give this person any attention at all? Why did they go along with it by cropping the images? This one actually says 2009 here. And it shows this. But it's a different location. If, if And some of you only saw the blurry version. If you even saw this. There's the location information there. And it was from 2009 again. And that's, you know, that's the digitized Google Earth thing. Well, no. Um... The imagery was taken in 2009 and hasn't been updated. But you can slide the slider and it'll still show you that, right? Is that right? Huh? You had two locations that was that were close together, right? Okay, now we go here. This is the other image that's supposed to show this. Cabin section. And front of cabin. And they tilted the image. Okay, well, I did the same thing, and it shows... Well, obviously, it's 2014, blah, blah, blah. Okay, well, it's the same image, and it's actually 10-26-2014. But the imager date is from 2005. Because the image is from 2005. They didn't update it. This one here is that same image, and this, if you're not aware of it, is a live copy of Google uh, Google Maps, uh, the web version. It shows the same thing. It's not a fuselage. And uh, that's it. And it doesn't show you the imagery information on it as far as the imagery date unless you do the full version. But that's Google, uh, uh, Google Earth. Okay, anyway, no GPS, but Peter McMahon saw the uh, MH370 8 March 2014 or after. But almost all of the images are from 2009. It had bullet holes. It had to be. 16 kilometers south of Round Island, north of Meritus. Well, actually, no. Some of the images are from totally different locations, so it's not one location. He failed to provide the information on purpose. He didn't fail. He went out of his way to avoid it. And other people went along with it by obviously cropping it, because some people actually uploaded the images without alteration. He said four Americans were sent to Australia because Americans are the bad guys. One of them was Hillary, the other one was Obama, and uh, one of them was your mom. To oversee the findings of the, 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 the investigation, they, the mysterious men in black, do not want it found as it's full of bullet holes. Why, where did he get that assumption from? He just made it up. Finding it will only open another inquiry. And... They made sure that all information received has been hidden from the public. 
even our government. But why? Um, you obviously are doing it just asking questions at that last part. You're asserting that the U.S. government is doing a cover-up of what Malaysia government covered up. The Malaysian government has been noto- absolutely abominable about not being transparent about their investigation here. About any of this. But anyway, that was March 2014. So one of the images is close. I mean, it's, 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 it's from October 26th, right? But, but that it, it uses older images. It just says that it's, uh, it's similar. He didn't find something special. He lied overtly. And the newspapers and, you, and websites found the information and flacking ignored that. And he gets th- the, the story gets thousands of views on other people's channels. And me pointing out the obvious isn't going to get Jack. Because we do not reward people for doing any kind of research. We don't reward anybody for being transparent or giving information. We don't reward people for that. So Malaysia, the government, doesn't have a reason to be transparent or anything. Neither do the police departments in Las Vegas and other cities. Being transparent doesn't give you anything. Lying does. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Good luck with that.